Hi everyone, welcome to How to Do Technology. Today we are going to see how HTML, CSS, and JavaScript work together. So let's start. When you hear the web page or web page, usually you will see three basic layers uh, in the page. So, for example, I have this image here. I have uh, the first one that is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So let's see HTML. HTML is where the content of the page lives. Here we will find the page structure. So I have my file here that is called index.html. So I have all of my structure uh, of the page here, like uh, uh, elements, like paragraph element, like button elements. And also I have the content in, inside the paragraph. So the, the extension for this file is that HTML. This is the first layer. <clears throat> the second layer is CSS. So CSS is called presentational or presentational layer. Here uh, leave all, all the rules that we want to apply to the uh, first layer, to the HTML, to the structure. So if we see the CSS like here, this is the presentation layer. So we are applying all the styles like colors, like font size, like how the button uh, looks, like color white, like background color, like blue, and that kind of stuff. So it's more like presentational. So it's like more like look. So your page going to look like depends on how uh, many rules that you have here or applies to each element. And the extension for this layer is that CSS. Also, uh, you will keep uh, this style separate from the HTML. So if you can use, uh, let's see, if I want to uh, use this uh, presentational layer into my uh, structural layer, then I will insert here so it's separate. This is one file and the style is on another file. So I am just including my uh, presentation layer here. So let's see. Here, this is a structural layer, just the element, the content. This is the paragraph and this is the button. So if I reload the page or the browser, then we'll, we will see all the rules that the presentation layer is applying to this uh, to this uh, page. So let's see. If you see, you will have colors, you will have like a font size of the button or font size of the paragraph and also the color of the font of the button. So this is called a presentation layer when you apply styles. Then finally, let me close this. Finally we have the JavaScript. So JavaScript uh, layer finally uh, is like the logic or we can manage some interactions interactions between users and your page so for example let's see here I have the behavior layer so I have the code or logic so this is just a script a uh, code so I am getting the the button here so I'm getting the button here by ID then I apply it when I click the button, then I need to do something. Just for now, show one alert. This is the, the interaction that the user has with your page. So let's see. Also, uh, it's a, it's, this code lives in separate files. So I need to include this file, the .js, into my index, index HTML. So I'm going to include the file here, script. Sorry, script the source that is behavior GS and I need to close this back like this. Then I'm going to reload the, the browser and then if I click or the user click the button, then we'll see a one interaction like this. If you see is now is loading the, the behavior layer that is JavaScript. Uh, it's a good practice. Let me put here. It's a good practice separate 
each uh, file or each layer in different uh, files. That, for example, I have my layer HTML here, I have my presentation layer in another file, and I have my behavior layer in another file. So it's, it's a good, good practice to do this. Uh, also, these three layers are called like progressive engagement, enhancement, sorry. Um, start with the HTML layer uh, is because the content is the most important thing for, for the user. Uh, also, this will be ensure ensure that the the all all the time and doesn't depend on which device you are uh, seeing your your site. You will always see always see the content. So let's see if you only have this. I mean, if you don't have like a JavaScript or also you don't have like a styles. The user always will see the content. So this is a good practice, but because maybe the user don't don't see the the look and feel a good page, but I'll, but there is the the, the content. So it is important to the user to see the content. It doesn't matter if have some uh, look and feel or or interaction with the with the the page, um, and also it's accessible for all the user and it's a good performance. Uh, so that's it. Uh, let me know if you have some question and don't forget to subscribe to this channel please and thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.